Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. As promised, we are back in the grassroots of Scottish football. Today, we're over the other side of the water and we're at a ground I have been meaning to visit for ages. I've had loads of requests to visit this ground. This ground hosts two club spot. So which club is it I'm going to see today? Across the road from me is a ground you may notice if you are a fan of Scottish football. This stadium has been on BBC Scotland twice in the last year, featuring in the Scottish Cup. Let's get across the road and I'll show you a little bit more. Come on. And we have arrived in Home Park, the home of Clyde Bank and Yoka. Well, the question is, who are we here to see tonight? Clyde Bank or Yoka? Well, I had to choose Clyde Bank. We've already seen Yoka on the channel in the Scottish Junior Cup last season. Originally, this is Yoka Stadium, so we will be back to see Yoka. But for tonight, we're here to see the Bankies, and that is for a reason. I'm going to give you a little history lesson into Clyde Bank. This is a huge club that is far too down below. It shouldn't be at this level, and I am going to explain why in a minute. Tonight, Clyde Bank face Darvel. Darvel are a club that need no introduction to this channel. If you've been watching my channel this season, you'll know that we saw Darvel beat Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup in a humongous upset, the biggest Scottish Cup upset we've ever seen. With us being in the last month of the West of Scotland Football League calendar, every game is a must win for Darvel if they want to be winning this league with Beef so many points ahead of them. As for Clyde Bank, they currently sit in sixth. They are looking more towards their cup semi-final on Saturday. They've got a huge cup semi-final on Saturday. But tonight, it's all about league action. Before we get into today's video, what a gaff this is. Clyde Bank, you've got it good. Let's go and have a look around. I'm taking you with me. Introduce yourself for the people that don't know. I am Paul Cummins, I'm on the committee here at Clyde Bank and also do the, the Bankies TV, so I'm a well known face around the club. Before we get into working for the club, explain the proud history of Clyde Bank. So many people don't actually know what Clyde Bank used to be. I think for a lot of people, you know, for an older generation, if you watch Clyde Bank, you'll remember the, the 60s, the 70s, and 80s when Clyde Bank won the Scottish Premier League a couple of times and produced guys like David Cooper, who obviously wanted to play for Rangers in Scotland and had a great career. He was one of many you know, that, that made big moves. Um, £100,000 in the 70s, which is probably worth about £100 million these days. Crazy money. You know, so a good history in Clyde Bank up until the mid-90s when it all went pear-shaped and the, the club went into a bit of decline. And the owners at the time decided that they'd had enough, sold the stadium, sold the club, and uh, with a few years of bouncing about Dumbarton, Greenock, with these charlatans that were going to move us to Dublin and Carlisle and anywhere in between, they wanted to merge with, with Livingston. So we had a, a few rough years as well before it culminated with Airdrie United buying us over and stealing their place in the league back in 2002. And uh, we got together, the supporters, we were, we were trying to buy the club at the time, so we were outbid. Um, but we got our act together, restarted the club, and here we are now at Home Park 20 years later. And it's amazing, like, you look at this facility, obviously, it is the home of Yoka. Yoka have come to an agreement with yourselves, and look how great it's worked. To the point where you're actually back on national television last year. 
Yeah, it's been great the last few years, like you say, you know, the place is, is looking great. If you've been here 10 years ago, it was about a mess. Um, so the council, ourselves and Yoker, have come together over the last five, six years. Council have done a great job um, putting in this facility. The, the AstroTurf, you know, that if you've been here an hour ago, there was 25 kids running a bit like that. And it's at that most stage, you know, so the council have done a great job in mm -hmm. putting that together. Um, ourselves and Yoker do their wee bits. Um, it allowed us to go for the SFA licence, you know, so last year with the the big cut run this year wasn't it? as big as we hoped for, but you know, to be on the telly and things like that, and a few full houses, uh, teams like Clyde that we were used to playing 20 and 30 years ago and humping quite regularly, so it was good to get them back into Clyde back and, and hump them again. You know? <laughs> to be able to get back to that, having a full house of Clyde Bank fans, people coming from all over the world to watch you again, did it feel like that's a Clyde Bank back again? There was part of Clyde Bank back again? Chance to deliver again, he's had a few good ones, little. He's in there, goes to the back post, it's like, oh, he's yeah! 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 double the lead! Yeah! What an absolute <laughs> cock of the head! It really did, you know, it really did. It's been a lot of, a lot of hard work, um, and a lot of people don't realise it. We're, we're owned by the supporters, we're run by the supporters, and we rely on a lot of supporter contributions, you know, so we have our sponsors as well, we are brilliant. They put a lot of time and, and money in, but this club's run by the fans, we, we're all supporters. Everybody on the committee's been going. For, for years, you know, so for us to have achieved that, um, a lot of our own hard work to, to be here to see the Scottish Cup run, you know, to see 12, 1400 people turning out on a regular basis. It's an incredible number. You know, it's been great. I think last year our average crowd ended up about 700. Personally, for you, what, what would you like to see? At for me, Bank? it's always been about getting back into the Scottish League. You know, that's, I'm not be happy until until I see that. So I think I'm about halfway through life, you know, so we've got a wee bit of time to go yet, but that would be my big one. You work with the club? I uh, work in the club shop uh, most games, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to work for a club like Clyde Bank? It's more investing than other clubs because it's owned by the fans. I've followed the club since the 80s, so it's, it's part of my life and uh, it's just great to give back to the club. What, what does Clyde Bank mean to you? <laughs> it's my, part of my life, you know what I mean? It really is. I've been, as I say, I've been coming since the 80s, so. It really is uh, ingrained in my life. And what would it mean for you to see Clay Bank back in the Scottish Leagues? Oh, it would be amazing. It's the ultimate goal. Uh, obviously, it's going to be tough. Uh, all levels of football, it's all, all about money. Uh, progression is really hard uh, out of these leagues. A lot of good teams, especially the team we're playing tonight. Uh -huh. But uh, aye, it would be amazing, unbelievable. Finally, what can I expect tonight? It's my first time here at Home Park. A uh, great atmosphere. Uh, we've got a lot of young boys that come now. So I've heard. So uh, I think you should be in amongst them and you'll, you'll have a great night. So I'm here with the boys and they've just given me the pendant for the Clyde Bank versus an Athletic game. This is a game we were talking about earlier. What a Scottish Cup run that was. Monumental and a taste of what's to come for Clyde Bank. Right, we've had a look about the stadium. Now it's time to go and get something to eat. Let's get this food review done. I'm starving. Yeah. Can I get a bacon cheeseburger, please? Uh, yeah, please. Well, you're not even getting a video of that burger because it got absolutely scudded. Snack van, we'll give you a review at the end as always. Right, we're well, joined by three subscribers quickly before kickoff. What's your score prediction? Clyde Bank v Darbo tonight. 2-1 Clyde Bank. 2-1 Clyde Bank. 3-1 Clyde Bank. 3-1 Bankies, love that. Enjoy the game boys. Right, we're well, joined with the lovely Grace. Quickly, before the game kicks off. What's your score prediction? 2-1 Clyde Bank. 2-1 Clyde Bank. 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 Two one bankies. Good stuff. If you've not already, go and subscribe to Bankies TV. <laughs> and there come the opposition. Darvel. They are needing to get the one tonight. This is going to be a great game. Let's have it. Good crowd tonight as well. 
both sides. And then over here. And we're off. Look at that. Right next to the airport. <laughs> Incredible. Right, if you want to see loyal supporters, bankies. What I done when I was 15 year old, man. Is it worth it? I know, mate, I know it is. Was it worth it? Mate, best decision I've ever made in my life, man. Best decision I've ever made. <laughs> right, we're here with the bankies, Ultras. Boys, what's the score going to be? Can you hear anything? Big man get on the drum. Ready to make a noise. Love it. <laughs> Oh, lovely football, lovely football. Go on, go on. Oh. Big chance for the bankies. They take the edge of the box. Let's see this place. One now. What a goal. One now to Darvo. Champions goal that. Against the runner play. One now Darvo. Look at this. Madness. Oh yes, well done. Go on. Oh. Oh! Bomba! That's bad for the Monkeys! Yes. Half time, 1 0 Darvo. Right, so it's half time here. 1 0 to Darvo. In all honesty, it probably should be 1 0 to Clyde Bank. Uh, Darvo hit the bar and then they did score a screamer, but apart from that, they've really caused no problems. Clyde Bank have had about 3 or 4 good opportunities. It's been a tight game. And it's going to be a good second half, I can feel it. Pitch is slippy, proper Scottish football. May even be a red card in it. Let's see what happens in the second half. Go on, go on, big chance. Oh! What a miss! You're not going to get a better chance than that. Start of the second half. How's he missed that? Oh, wow. Oh! Seconds later, Darvo hit the post. This game's starting to open up now. Oh, love it! <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Sam? Huh? Oh, hit up! Oh, they're wasting chances here. Another one. Darvo are in. Oh, what a save. What a save. Wow. Wow. Incredible. What that double save. How has he kept that out? Oh. Oh. Mikey's up pressuring. Fans doing their best, 10 minutes to go. Let's see if Bankies can get an equaliser. Oh, what a tackle that is. Which 
Joseph, the bankies were in. No matter the score, these fans will be brilliant tonight. Last chance alone for Clyde Bank now. And in the final minutes. And there we go. Full time. Darvov taking the win. Crucial win in the end. That's for the Bankies. They've got a semi final Saturday. I'll see you back at the house for a full match day review. And just like that, we are back in the house. Clyde Bank. Well, unfortunately, they couldn't get the result in the end. It seems to be a bit of a problem at the moment for them. Huge club with huge potential, but the results just aren't going their way. Can they get themselves back up into Scotland's top leagues? I think it's something we would all love to see. But as for now, I'm going to be reviewing the Clyde Bank match day experience. Let's go. First of all, football. Last night, Clyde Bank played some lovely football at times, but they just couldn't get the end product, squandering numerous golden opportunities. Football, I'm going to have to go by a 6 out of 10. To get into last night's game, it cost me £8, which I would say is average for that level. Under a tenner, always a winner for me. For price, I'm going for an 8 out of 10. So last night's atmosphere, I was told about the Bankies Ultras. I had numerous texts of people to come and experience it for myself. And let me tell you, they did not disappoint. The Bankies boys, they were brilliant. They tried to do their best for the team. Unfortunately, they just couldn't get the result in the end, which was a shame. Atmosphere, I'm going with an 8 out of 10. So last night, I arrived at the game to see there was going to be no typical pie hut at the game, which I was quite disappointed about. I always love to review the pies at the games, but Clyde Bank have opted to go with a snack van, which I can understand with the size of the crowd they get. It does cater, obviously, quicker and more effective for the bigger crowd. As I couldn't get a pie last night, I opted to go with a bacon cheeseburger and let me tell you it did not disappoint. Sometimes you tend to get a cheap burger in these snack vans which I don't really like but last night it was very good. Thick bacon, good burger and a brioche bun to go with it. Good quality food I'm going with a 7.5 out of 10. Last but not least facilities. So Home Park is a council owned ground however it was renovated a couple of years ago to cater for a bigger crowd and let me tell you it is fit and ready for purpose. As we've seen last season with Clyde Bank and the Scottish Cup, it is an impressive modern ground with a lot of space to move around. I enjoyed my trip and I definitely will be back. Facilities, I'm going for a 9 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on yet another video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more non-leak videos, click that like button and let me know where you want me to go next. I am off to Dundee United versus Hibernian on Sunday with a very interesting historical story about those two for you. Until then, I will see you in the next one. It's a goodbye from me.